Um, good afternoon. Um, hard fought battle there, you know, obviously disappointed in the loss and didn't come out uh, the way we wanted to at the very end. Um, but uh, I was uh, certainly excited about the way the guys fought and uh, battled at the very end of the game uh, to uh, get those stops on defense. I thought that was really good. Um, then we end up having the punt and pin, and then we end up getting the stop on the defense again. And we had, uh, you know, you know, three or four. We had them, uh, uh, you know, three timeouts. You know, and we get forced them to a three and out. And then we were two thirty-eight. Uh, we had one timeout, twenty-eight yard line, and then we just couldn't convert on the fourth down um, to that point. But uh, a lot of good things to take away from this this uh, this contest today. Um, obviously, on offense, you know, we uh, the quarterback was really amazing today. You could see that. You know, he had 15 rushes for 178, 11, 9 average. I think that's the most in the NFL, I believe, in the history of the NFL. So that's saying something. Uh, he had a 106 rating, uh, passer rating. You know, rushed for a TD, had three t uh, passing TDs. So um, obviously, a huge step for Justin Fields. You know, in the franchise today. So that was really good. Um, a lot of good aspects to look at. You know, for the football team. You know, uh, this is our fourth consecutive time of rushing the ball over 225. Uh, so that's uh, that's obviously a very big positive. Um, we were 50 percent on, I know, 63 percent on third down, um, which is really good too. Um, obviously, we brought in uh, Mooney had a really good day. You know, he had his first TD for the year. Uh, Cole Komet did a nice job. Uh, Claypool had his first first. You know, had a couple receptions. You know, getting his feet wet. Um, it's good to see him in there. Um, so that was really good. Um, you know, obviously, defensively, positive takeaways are, you know, the run defense. The run defense was better. It wasn't perfect. You know, they had some runs come through there a couple of times. But overall, I thought it was better. Um, you know, I thought Sanborn did a nice job where he was, you know, where he needed to be in the run game. You know, same thing with uh, we moved, obviously, Nick over to Will. So that was an adjustment for him. You know, so I thought they did a nice job with that. You know, we were facing, uh, you know, obviously, really two good receivers today. You know, with uh, the top, you know, two of the top five receivers, and we needed to do a better job um, against those guys of jamming, disrupting at the line of scrimmage. I didn't think we did a very good job of that, and also getting guys up underneath them the way we had planned um, during the course of the week. We needed to execute better on those those items. But uh, like I said, a good hard fought battle. Uh, we came up short today, and uh, I'll open up questions from there. Three straight games where your offense has put points up on the score. Right. What to you is the significance of what you guys have done the last last year? No, I just think that we're really maximizing our strengths, you know, um, and you know, minimizing our weaknesses right now. And that was going into that bye week. We wanted to really focus on that, look at our roster, and making sure that we did that. And I think we're doing a lot of good things in protection to help ourselves uh, move in the pocket. Um, you know, and, and giving some uh, sight lines and vision lines for the quarterback that he likes. That is uh, really uh, good for him, and he's and he's doing a great job with that. Um, he still, you know, obviously has the ability to use his feet. Um, you know, when things break down, we saw it today on a few third downs, which I, you know, just from me being a defensive guy, you know, uh, you know, in the past that that's very difficult. You know, you have to you know send five guys, you have to have a guy for him that limits your coverages. You know, so it it, it creates a lot of situations, and sometimes you will send more than that just to fill up the gaps. And, uh, you know, so it's uh, it's a problem, you know. So he's been really uh, good at executing. I think we've been really good the last three weeks in third down. We've been really doing a good job of executing there to keeping the drives alive. You know, the time of possession has been really good, you know, for our football team where we are right now. So that's been good. I think in the first half it was like, you know, we had it for 20 minutes, I think. So um, uh, just doing a really good job of progressing the offense. He's always been fast. He's always been a good runner. Just right. Why do you think he's been so much more effective lately? What is working for him right now? Well, I think that when you have the design runs the way we have them, I think it sets them, you know, we have the sweeps and the powers and the counters and the misdirections. And then you have the ability to, you know, our runners didn't have the numbers they usually have today, but uh, they've had great numbers, you know, and having that one-two punch and really the third punch with the quarterback to be able to run the ball that way, I think it's uh, very difficult for the defenses. And his, his passing the last few weeks, the, his production hasn't been – really high, but the efficiency, um, what are you seeing in that element of his game that's, that looks right to you? Yeah, just as like we talked about before, just his pocket presence, you know, he feels more comfortable back there. Uh, his platform, he's in balance, you know, uh, you know, he's looking down the field to throw the ball, uh, which is a dangerous thing for the defense, and uh, um, he's progressing that way. What was your vantage point on his touchdown run? He obviously comes right, right near you, but what did you see on that entire season? Speed. 
Yeah, I saw speed and uh, his elusiveness. And then once he gets into the open field, he runs away from pretty much most people. And he did it right there. And I think it was, I want to say Mooney. Am I right on that? Had a really nice, smart, you know, shield block on that particular play. And that was, uh, it was really good to see. The odds to have the ball twice in the fourth quarter with a chance to go down and put together a drive. What was your vantage point on, on what caused it to break down and just how valuable the experience is it to just be in those moments? Today? No, it's great. It's great to put, put them in the moment to, to, to win the game. You know, and like I told the guys, you know, in the uh, in the locker room, I said, guys, just keep working, keep having determination, get tighter as a group. We're building the football team. And they understand that. I know everybody was disappointed, but we're, we were right in it at the end. You know, and those experiences are invaluable for our football team to be able to be in those moments. This may, this may be a better question for tomorrow, but do you, um, did you notice any difference in how you were defended having a guy like Chase Claypool in the mix compared to before? And did, it, did they do anything differently just with his presence? Yeah, I think you're going to have to. I mean, again, I have to look at the tape, so I don't really know that right now. But uh, I think when you have big type receivers like that, like Harry and Claypool and St. Brown, you have different types. And then you got Mooney inside. I think it creates issues, you know, for the defense for sure. Man, one of the plays that really hurt you guys was uh, the pass interference call against Eddie Jackson. Okay. Uh, after you guys cut it to 35 32, what did you see on that play? What was your opinion of well, again, you know, it's it's like, you know, like everything, you know, you can agree to disagree. You know, you, you're uh, from my vantage point, you know, it looked like it was a clean play. But again, I wasn't all, all the way over there on the other side. So, uh, you know, I know the side judge or the, or the back judge in that particular case, um, they thought it was and that was their opinion. They threw the flag. And defensively, did you guys just not feel like it was smart to blitz those guys? It seems like you guys went pretty soft and hit you up a lot of hill or a lot of yeah, just what I said before, you know, I thought we needed to do a better job of jamming and disrupting, getting guys up underneath, you know, when you single up guys and you, and you, uh, you know, play single high, it's, it's a, it's a hard transition for the, uh, for those DBs, you know, if you put them in that situation all the time. So, you know, we, we uh, obviously got to do a better job executing our plan. You've been in the NFL for a long time. How special is this run that he is, does the field is on now and how special was what you saw today? No, I think it is. I think it's special. I think it's we're building, we're building, you know, our football team. Like I said, we have a young football team. We're building upon that. And the centerpiece of that is the quarterback. You know, it's it's the way it is in the NFL. And uh, talk about toughness and grit and the ability, you know, to persevere through a lot of different things. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the, the start of the season, he was feeling his way. And now all of a sudden, now the last three games, he's really taken off. And we're excited about that as a group. And, and we're excited about that, you know, for the Chicago Bears and, and the franchise. Do you see his, his success as a runner, improving his confidence as a passer? Are those related? I do. I think it opens opens up a lot of things. I think the way we're using them now with, uh, you know, the different quarterback runs and the different designs that we're doing, I think it's really good and really, really smart. Do you compartmentalize the two? You're, you're talking about losing. You're talking about Justin Fields taking big steps forward, though. Are you? Do you separate those two things as, yeah, you're taking losses, but there are – big steps being taken for the future? Um, that's a good question. And, you know, obviously we, we focus here and now, you know, so obviously the loss hurts very much. Uh, but um, but after the performance, it is what it is. We lost by three. You know, so now what are you going to take away from it? What was the positive things that we did? What are the things we need to correct? Let's correct those, okay? And then let's take the positives and build upon those. And that's how you get better as a football team. And uh, we're going to continue to do that. So, you know, we have to do it offense, defense, kicking. Uh, to win football games, you got to play complementary football in all three phases, and uh, we didn't do a good enough job of that today. But there were certainly some aspects um, of the game that we like, um, certain parts of the game that we like, certain parts of our, our team, and we just got to build upon those and correct the things that we need to correct. Matt, Bay was more uh, inactive today. You yeah. Your decision making on that. Yeah, it's just really about special teams. You know, it was uh, we looked at our roster, our cover teams, um, and we thought that we needed to have a, a, a other guys up. Um, for our cover teams, and uh, we know with Dante Pettis doing a good job with the punt returns, we just thought this week that that was the right thing for us to do. And also, based on the receiver position, we thought it was the best thing to do. Uh, you answer this last one. How was uh, what was your opinions on Jack Sample? Yeah, I thought, like I said in the run game, I thought he was really good. I got to go back and look at the pass, but I know in the run game, you know, when the ball's right there in front of you, he was where he was supposed to be. He's an instinctual player. He's physical, and uh, I thought he was around the ball in the run game for sure.